Hey everybody, welcome to Ready, Set, Drone. Today, I'm very excited, I'm gonna check out a product called LumCube, or LumaCube. I'm not sure which it is, but uh, I'm gonna just say LumCube. The LumCube is a tiny little um, LED light that has an app that you can control it remotely with. You can mount it on a variety of different things, so we're gonna check it out and see how it does, so stay tuned. It is a very small, uh, bright LED light that actually is controllable via Bluetooth with a, with a application that you can um, download for free for iOS or Android. Um, the Loom Cube has 10 different settings and in the app you can actually control all those settings so you can get different brightnesses. It is 5600-ish uh, degree color temperature, which means that it's balanced for daylight. So it actually would make nice fill light during the day if you were shooting outside on a cloudy day or something like that. Um, and it also is rechargeable, LED, low power consumption, and can be mounted to a lot of different things, including a tripod, including a GoPro with different types of mounts. And of course, it can be mounted to a Phantom 4 which is the most exciting part of it all, because we're gonna try that. So the packet I uh, received came with two Loom Cubes, uh, two chargers, as well as two of these mounts that go on your DJI Phantom 4. These mounts are uh, designed to go on the landing gear, and it's just a standard camera thread that's on these, and that's what's on the bottom of the Loom Cube is a standard camera thread that you can thread into any type of tripod that uses this same standard thread. The Loom Cube feels like it's made of aluminum, so it feels pretty rugged. The mount itself is made of plastic, but it's really thick, uh, durable feeling plastic. And then I think the, the, the threaded um, part, as well as this uh, part that rotates, is made of metal. So very durable and seem to be very well made. Uh, the Loom Cube is a 1500 lumen LED. The color temperature is 6000 degrees Kelvin which uh, I think I said 5,600 degrees earlier. Uh, that's in the sunlight range. Uh, 6,000 is pretty bright and pretty blue light, but if you use it outdoors with uh, sunlight, it's gonna match pretty well. Uh, it does 20 minutes of full runtime on the full power setting, and of course it'll do more if you uh, turn it down to a lower setting. It'll run more than two hours, according to the book, uh, if you're using different settings, power settings. It takes about 90 minutes to charge, it's waterproof to 100 feet, which is really awesome. I actually really wanna try these out uh, uh, in the water this summer. And it has two different uh, modes. It actually has a flash mode where you can use it as a flash or you can use it as a video um, fill light or key light or backlight. And in that case, it just stays on continuously. There is an app that you download with the Loom Cube and it is free and you can, uh, download it for iOS or Android. So here is the Loom Cube app, which I'm gonna go ahead and open. And you can see it tends to want to be a vertical app, so I'll go ahead and turn the, turn the phone like this. In order to pair your Loom Cube, you first have to enter the serial number, which is on the box, if you wanna be able to pair it to the uh, actual Loom Cube. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this guy on. So there's the registration page that it's asking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the uh, serial number, which is in the instructions. Okay, so um, I have registered the Loom Cube. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn each of them on. And there's two little buttons on the top. You just uh, hold, hold down the left one that turns the Loom Cube on. You can see it's on right now. And there's the right one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, I just push the little, um, brightness button. So here's the brightness you can control with the app. So I'm going to go ahead and set these right over here and show you how I can control both of them uh, right now with the app. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the brightness down. And it's pretty fluid and pretty smooth. And you can see at full brightness they're pretty darn bright. That's full power. That is very bright. Uh, like I said, 1500 lumens. And then um, there is a red eye button that I guess uh, allows, compensates for red eye. And then it also shows you your battery level right here. Let me just turn these down so we can see this a little bit better. Battery level is currently at 91%. And you're kind of seeing the, um, you're seeing the camera on the other side of there. So let's see what this button does. 
Uh, it seems to turn them on and off. Okay, so the way this seems to work now is when I start the camera, the lights come on. When I hit the uh, start button, and when I pause it, the lights go off. So you can kind of see them going off and on when I hit the button or when I pause the button. That's pretty cool. It's very instantaneous too. I can flip the camera around, so now I'm recording myself, and you can see how much of a difference that fill light makes versus, uh, well, you can't because I'm starting and stopping, but uh, they, they really are lighting my face up pretty well. Uh, and then flip the camera back around again. Let's see what else. So if I'm going to be in uh, flash mode and I take a picture, oh, see they just light up for a second and then they go off. So you can, you can use them as a flash to, to go on for a moment while the picture is taken and then go off. The app is cool, definitely worth, um, worth getting because it's going to give you a lot more, uh, a lot of flexibility to use them and use them from a distance too. There's my LumCube Pro uh, app, and you can see here when I hit all on, all lights come on. So I, could, I would be able to theoretically set them all up at different levels and use this on off button to turn them all on and off at the same time. So if you were doing uh, shooting at night and you wanted to be able to light from different angles, um, this would definitely be useful for you to do. This is a Gorillapod. I use this thing all the time with uh, GoPros and different cameras. Um, it has a standard, uh, I think it's a eighth inch or quarter inch thread here on the top. And this is standard to a lot of tripods. All you do is you take this right here and you put it on there and you just spin it. And it's just going to uh, mount right on. And there we go. And now I can actually take my um, my loom cube and position it how I want it. And so if I wanted to use it for fill light in this uh, shoot, oh, that was the flash, I could actually just turn it on like that. And now that is level one. There are 10 levels, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's full speed. And now I'll go back to the lowest. So pretty versatile. Um, but you know, just the way this thing sits on here, um, you could attach this uh, gorilla pod to a tree. You could do all kinds of things with it to help you get light in places where you might not be able to put it otherwise. So that's really cool. And again, it's not limited to a gorilla pod. This this light would actually go on uh, any sort of tripod that has that standard uh, thread. Okay, so it looks like the uh, Loom Cube weighs. Uh, you might not be able to read that very well in there, but 3.7 ounces or 104 grams. So 3.7 ounces or 104 grams. Now the big question is if we're going to put this thing onto a uh, drone, what's it going to weigh when it's sitting on the drone? So you also have to account for the uh, piece of hardware that's going to hold it there. Uh, weighing it right now, it's at 142 grams or five ounces. So um, not terribly heavy, but you know, there's a little bit to it. 140, 142, 143 grams. It's kind of shaking back and forth between those two. Or again, right on the nose at five ounces. So let's go ahead and mount it onto the quad and see how it does. This uh, also has the ability, you, you can actually, by turning this, you can loosen it a little bit so that you can get it in the position that you want it in. So if you want it facing that way or facing this way. One other thing I was going to show you, this piece on the back is what helps make it waterproof. It's uh, got a thread to it. This comes off and this is what uh, where it charges. So that's your USB charging port right in there. Um, but if you're going to take it under water or just general use, you probably want to leave this, um, this thread on so that it won't uh, get any water in it. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and just uh, mount these. The way these mount is they go on the sides of the landing gear. And so um, it appears there might be an upside down and a right side up because they don't seem to be perfectly symmetrical. And that would kind of make sense because the landing gear on the Phantom 4 is a little bit tapered. So let me go ahead and put this one on. And that feels pretty good. I'm going to try it the other way and see if it makes any difference. Okay, that feels even better. So um, 
So my point being that there does seem to be a slight variation in the angle of this side versus this side and therefore um, there's one way that it seems to fit on a little bit tighter than the other way. So I got that one over there. I'm going to put this one on over here and that one feels pretty tight. And then you put the loom cube right here on the side and again you just screw it in. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just uh, get this the direction I want it facing and then I'm going to turn this until it locks on. So now my loom cube is pretty locked in place. It's not going to rotate and it's facing forward. So now that one's locked in place and you can see when I pick it up and move um, they don't they don't really move. They're, they're pretty uh, steady and solid in place. Now you could aim them up, you could aim them down, you could aim one front and one back. Um, and what I'm curious to see is how much, uh, how much weight this actually adds to the camera and whether it affects how it flies. So uh, let's take it out and give that a shot. Okay, so I've got the two loom cubes on the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, I am about to take off and just see how it handles with them. I'm also going to use the app on my phone, which is nice that I have the Phantom 4 Pro because I can actually run uh, the app separately because I have the uh, Plus, which has this, um, has this screen on it. So let me just make sure I can turn them on and off. All right, they are as bright as they get, and I'm going to take off and see how it how it does. So the loom cubes, um, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with these things. I haven't flown them at night. This was just testing them out during the day. The Phantom 4 Pro, uh, and I'm sure the Phantom 4 because I had one and it was pretty powerful, didn't really bad an eye at lifting these things. It didn't seem to affect the performance. Now it's not a windy day, uh, it may be worse in the wind, but as far as today goes, um, they it seemed to hold them just fine. Now you can see what a difference they make as far as a fill light goes. And so if you were actually trying to, um, if you're trying to do some uh, shooting during the day on a cloudy day and you needed fill lights, or if you were shooting at night, um, you know, just as illumination, I think they would do really well. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about the color temperature. They do look a little bit um, blue right now, which is um, a little bit cooler than daylight even, and they're definitely going to look blue if you're using incandescent lights. So you have to manage that. You have to make sure that you uh, use them as your only source of light and you color balance to them, or if you're using them during daylight, you color balance to your subject, which you can do with your camera typically is uh, you can tell it what color temperature you want it to be. Um, but overall, man, these things are bright. They fit on the Phantom really well. I'm excited to try them um, in different ways with my other cameras as lights while I'm shooting. I will be sure to do two things. I'm going to do a night test with them uh, pretty soon, and I'm also going to do some other testing with them as just general lights for video and photography and kind of see how they do in that. But for the purpose of putting on the drone and as um, daylight fill, they are fantastic. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description of where you can pick them up or check them out further. Uh, Again, they're waterproof, they're 1500 degree, um, I mean, so they're 1500 lumens, um, 6000 degrees color temperature, meaning daylight balanced. Uh, they're very rugged feeling, they've got a nice long battery life, and check them out and see what you think. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more drone videos, please subscribe to Ready Set Drone. We'll see you next time.